Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. And um, I just wanted to come at you all with another short video on where I am giving you an update with my rotator cuff repair shoulder surgery. So it's now been four weeks that I've had the surgery. And the last time that we talked, it had been two weeks and I had stitches removed. And I had another two weeks to go. So yesterday I actually um, went back for, or Monday, I actually went back for um, my follow-up with that. And I know you see something different, right? Yes. I am holding this versus wearing this. So on Monday, they it was four weeks. And so they took away my shoulder sling which that's what this is, uh, a shoulder bolster sling. Um, and it was really weird. It, it really was weird once they took it off because I had been in that thing for four weeks. And so when she, the uh, PA took it and she put it over to the side, I was kind of reaching for it because it had been a crutch, like a crutch for me for four weeks. But she took that from me and then she removed the steri strips that I had over my surgical wounds, which she said they were healing very well. And so she was happy with that. And we just talked about, you know, the next step, which is physical therapy. So uh, it was a little weird, um, you know, leaving out of there um, without the shoulder um, sling, you know, because you get used to a thing, you know, after a while, you know, it becomes like a crutch for you and you become dependent on it. But my um, elbow was really, really tender. And that's because it had been up in this position for a long time. So um, I just got back from PT, first day of physical therapy. And I was a little hesitant about it, but y'all, it was actually a godsend. I had a good physical therapist um, and he really took his time with me. He said that I was very, very tight in my shoulder area again because I just came out of the uh, sling on yesterday, you know, and here it is the next day. But anyway, we worked through the various exercises that he wanted me to do. He had a goal of what he wanted me to be able to do. You know, he wanted me to be able to touch my forehead. I can touch my hair, hairline. When I went in there, I couldn't do that. Uh, he wanted me to do some uh, rotator cuff extensions, which I wasn't able to do that before I went in. Wanted me to touch my belly. I couldn't do that. Uh, he had me lay flat out on a table to start out with, and we did those things. And he was just saying how very, very tight this whole shoulder area was. So he went behind my back and did some manipulation of my um, the muscles behind my shoulder just to kind of get me to loosen up. And he kept saying, I'm not going to arm wrestle with you. I just need you to relax. And he told me something that was very, very key. And I've already always believed in this. And that was, he said, um, I am not going to, I don't believe in you being in pain and you working through the pain. He said, I want you to work up to the point where it becomes painful. When it becomes painful, I want you to quit. He said, because there is no pain in gain. Because the only thing that will happen is when you're in pain, you will tense up. And when you tense up, it just defeats the whole purpose. Because when you tense up, the muscles will get tense. And you actually are not going to get the benefit that you that you want to get with stretching the muscle out. Instead, he recommend that you work up to a good stretch. And one of the things he said was a benefit for me is because I had I worked out. And so I know when my muscles have stretched to the point of uncomfortability and I know what a stretch feels like and I know what pain feels like. And so he just wanted me and he said, that's what we're going to do twice a week for PT, we're just going to work to a point of stretching because that's what we want to do. We want to get these muscles to function and work to the point where they are usable again. So I, um, I, I will be working or having physical therapy twice a week. Um, and he said for one hour and he's got me scheduled for the next, uh, I'm actually scheduled for the next month and a half of physical therapy. 
So it wasn't as bad as I thought. One thing that I did do, I was told to do by a friend who was a nurse. And then when I went to, um, for my follow-up, my PA told me the same thing. And that was, and hear this, to make sure that you take some pain med before you go in. And for those of you that have gone through physical therapy, you probably already know this. For those of you that have never gone through physical therapy, you might be looking at physical therapy down the road or what have you, take some pain med. So I actually took some pain med the night before physical therapy so that it would be in my system. And I took um, some ibuprofen, 800 milligrams the night before. And then the morning of physical therapy, I took some oxycodone and um, that was just what I needed because it took the edge off. And then they also, both my PA and the physical therapy, ther physical therapist reminded me once again that ice is still going to be my best friend. So I'm still supposed to continue icing. Uh, I was taken off of aspirin, no longer have to take aspirin. I was taking 81 milligrams of um, aspirin for blood clots, you know, so that's gone. Um, I'm still taking gabapentin, gabapentin, which is for uh, nerve damage and um, still taking that, still taking uh, meloxicam, which is for inflammation. So those really are the only two meds that I'm taking. So I'm just so thankful and grateful to God for this process. So again, I'll keep you posted uh, as we go down the road, again, looking at day one of physical therapy. And so again, I just want to remind you all, if you know, you're know you having any type of issues with your shoulders, please go to your uh, primary care doctor, have a consultation with them, have things checked out. Uh, have a, um, a um, uh, x-ray, but the x-ray is not going to tell you anything. You're going to have to have an MRI. Just really take your physical well-being into account. You be the biggest advocate for your physical well-being because that's what matters. So uh, stay on top of those things because that's what makes for a victorious life as it relates to his temple, our bodies, Okay. Um, just again, just as a reminder, if this video is presenting and giving you any type of value, please be sure that you hit the like button and that you subscribe because that's the way that we can stay connected. Um, if you're not sure about how to subscribe, I'll leave a little tip. So those four steps of how to subscribe, because you have to make sure that your, when you go to YouTube and your settings, you have to make sure that you have all of the notification, uh, ticks ticked so that you can receive notifications. So I appreciate you guys. Have a great week and until the next time.